rubbish from the Indian media that Dr. Zakir Naik also insults beliefs within Islam. I'm aware that there are certain groups in the Muslim community who are against me. Because when I give answers, I give answers with giving reference to Quran and authentic hadith. In Islam, there are no sects. But unfortunately, in the Muslim community, in different parts of the world, there are sects in the Muslim community, including India. Quran clearly states in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 103. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the authentic hadith. And be not divided. So making divisions is private in Islam. Allah says in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse number 158-159 that, O oh Prophet, if anyone makes division and sects in the religion of Islam, O oh Prophet, you have nothing to do with him. So making sects in Islam is prohibited. That is the reason. If you ask me the question, what am I? I say, I am a Muslim. I do not belong to any sects of Islam. I belong to the sect of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I follow the glorious Quran and the authentic teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I am aware that there are differences of opinion on certain aspects of Islam. Now when there is a difference of opinion, I give the reason why do I believe in a certain opinion. For example, when a question is asked to me, that do I believe that covering the face for the woman is compulsory? And I know that there are differences of opinion as far as the Islamic scholars are concerned. Most of the scholars say that covering the face for a woman is compulsory. But I agree with scholars like for example Sheikh Nasr al Albani who say that covering of the face for the woman is not compulsory. There are differences of opinion and Islam is broad enough in living with the differences. And I give the reasons, quoting the Quranic verse and the Hadith, why I believe in this opinion. For example, the difference of opinion, whether the triple tarah given together is right or wrong. And I say, though most of the scholars say that triple tarah giving in one sitting is acceptable, I believe in those group of scholars, though they may be in minority, that giving triple tarah in one sitting is equal to one tarah, it is not three tarah. And I give my reasons. Or just because I differ with certain Muslims, that is the reason they become my enemy is un-Islamic. Islam is broad-minded. What we have to do? We have to agree to disagree. That is the reason. Never ever in my speech will you find me criticizing any sect of Islam. There are some sects which I disagree with completely. Yet, never do I criticize them in public. And never ever on the peace TV will you find that any scholar is allowed to criticize any sect of Islam. We believe there are differences, but we have to live harmoniously. And my request to the Muslims of different groups, of different organizations and different sect that Allah said in the Quran, Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 103, Wa tasimu bi abdillahi jami'a wa la Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the authentic hadith. Let us unite together on the basis of the glorious Quran and the authentic hadith. These allegations of the Indian media have, alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, united the Muslims of different groups and sects. And I'm happy to know that most of the Muslims, many of them who differ with my views, as far as standing against the Indian media, the Muslims have been united. And I to thank all these Muslims that they have kept the differences aside and they have supported that because united we stand. And our main aim is to spread the message of Islam, spread the message of peace and the glorious Quran and the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I would like to thank all the Muslims of India as well as other parts of the world for supporting me in spreading the truth and spreading peace.